And I think, I'll, Walden, I think I'll start with you. Um, you mentioned, as Senator Klobuchar did, as others have, that the last set of elections were the most secure elections ever. You accepted that and have repeated that. It seems to me, based on that, there'd be no reason to have this discussion unless you could create a false narrative, in my view, that somehow states are passing massive legislation that changes the voting structure to people's disadvantage. Now, that's different than individual members of the legislature introducing bills. Uh, you, you said the last set of legislative bills are more bills than usual. Now, actually, I think on the Republican side, 22 bills of those bills are in Arizona, and 22 or so of those bills are uh, in Georgia, which I suspect my back of the envelope calculation would indicate that the four, five, or six bills in other states is about right. Believe me, politicians believe they are election experts, and there are always bills passed, almost always bills filed, almost none of which pass. Uh, every article on this topic cites your organization and all of this voter suppressing legislation that one, all isn't voter suppressing, and two, just simply is not gonna become law. It's a great excuse to upend a system that served the country well for a long time. On the Utah bill, for instance, that I cited earlier, HB 12 requires the Lieutenant Governor, who's the Chief Election Authority, to provide Social Security data of deceased individuals to county clerks so they can begin the process of removing deceased individuals from the voter rolls. Why would that be voter suppression? Uh, well, thank you, Senator. Uh, when we look at legislation across the country, uh, we look to see whether the measure is potentially restricting or suppressing. Right, just on the, on the question I ask, why would that bill removing dead people from the voter rolls based on Social Security information be voter suppression? Because there are frequently errors in the lists that are used in Social Security and other. And so so your well, view I, would be your view would be the federal government is not capable of telling the state which Social Security recipients died and no longer get a check. So we should turn the entire election over to a federal structure. I, I just don't agree. Senator Blunt, that. can we allow the witness to answer the question, no, please? No. No. The witness, no. the witness did answer the question. <laughs> okay. The witness answered the question, it Secretary. We'll clarify Senator, it. We'll clarify it later. Senator, the witness mm -hmm. answered the question by saying the federal government often is in error in giving information to the states. That was the answer to the question. 